everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I really wanted to show you a little look at my home office and I have been wanting to do this for a couple of weeks but it feels like there's something missing in there and I want to do something on the walls because there's a huge white wall behind it and we're still too soon to be able to paint and decorate in here but what I can do is put up pictures. So I'm so happy to say that this video is in collaboration with the Serio. I have loved the Serio for years now. I've used them in the kids' bedrooms, in our old house in the kitchen. We also had some in our old bedroom. We are very familiar with this brand and have used them for ages. So last time when I used them, you guys loved the partnership and we're partnering again. And I've got some prints that have come yesterday that I'm gonna put in some frames and then pop up in the office. So I thought what I would do today is just take you up with me, tidy up that room because it's a bit of a mess just now, and then actually assemble the items together, put all the prints in the frames and then put them on the wall so that you can see how you actually do it. It's all very well me just showing you a finished product, but I thought it'd be good so you can see how I go about sticking them up on the wall and stuff. And as usual, the Senio have been kind enough to give a discount code to all of my subscribers and followers, so you can just use that. All the details will be on the screen just now and also in the description box below. So make sure you take advantage of that because it is only for two days. So if you want anything, then you need to book quickly. But I'm going to show you the bits that I've got for in the office. And then I also have three prints for the kids' playroom as well that I just couldn't resist. I had to get them, so I spent over my budget, but do you know what? It's worth it. I've got some little frames as well that I already had that I could put these pictures in that I'm going to put in there so yeah let's just get into it I'm going to show you an unboxing and then also describe to you how I went about actually creating the gallery wall because they have a tool on their website that you can use where you basically just like select a room sort of situation like whether it's going to be above a couch or whatever and then you pick all the sizes that you're looking for and then you can actually use their gallery wall template to just select what pictures you like so it kind of does it for you which is really good but anyway let me go and get this box it's huge wait till you see this so here it is here this is my big decennial box I have to say as well guys that their delivery service is amazing it's so good so I'm going to just take this box here Whee! and I'm going to open it up in fact I'll take it into the kitchen and pop it on the dining table so that we can see what it looks like and then get all the prints together and pop them in their appropriate frames right so this is the box opened and it's got stacks of these little puffs of air in there so that the frames don't get damaged but I got all of these gold frames from the Senio. They are so nice. I have been desperate for frames like this. So I've got all of these for putting in the office. I wanted to get that nice yellow gold, but it's actually, it's such a nice color of yellow gold. Honestly, I've had real struggles trying to get the right color of gold in this room. So I appreciate this so much. So of course the box size is in relation to the size of the frames, but actually your prints come in something like this just like a big poster tube so it's really professional then on it it says there is art inside and then the decennial logo and then i'll just grab my frames and start working through filling them with the right prints whoa <laughs> would you look at the size of my biggest print it's absolutely massive i'm buzzing for this so excited. So I've just opened the tube and this is new. Look, they've got like a little seal thing here that you open your prints. So this side I've already done. So you just literally take it across like that and then peel this here. <sighs> that feels expensive. I love that. I am absolutely obsessed. Obsessed with these. Oh. And then I've got a foil one as well, just for something a bit different, just to tie in the gold together. I love, love it. Right, I'm putting this one to the side now because it's absolutely humongous. I was trying to figure out how you take these clips out. So if anyone gets these frames, this is how you do it. You push this bit here, and then that pops out, and then you slide it off. That's so pretty. I love it. I love it. Look at that big one. Oh, that actually my favourite. Can you show the one underneath? Yep, the one underneath. I like the fairy ones. You do. No, I actually like that one. There's the flowers. No, actually this one. Actually that one, Mummy. Mummy, actually this one. Yeah, I like that one too. I 
like trend. What? What's the thing It's cool, isn't it? Okay, so I've just taken my prints upstairs, but I wanted to show you Ella and Charlie's ones actually because they're so cute. I've got these ones we're putting in their playroom. I thought I would get a little French Bulldog puppy. Or is this a Boston Terrier? I think it's a Boston Terrier. Yeah, that's the one anyway. I got that for Charlie and then the wee bunny for Ella. And then in the middle, I've got this lovely, kind of like a greenish colour, um, saying this is where the fun stuff happens. And I thought these together in some nice little kind of greyish frames, just plain frames, would look really good just sitting next to each other, just like three ducks in a row. Um, and I think I'm going to put that above the TV. So I'm going to put these in their frames just now, just so they don't get damaged while they're not protected. And what I want to do, I've got some cleaning stuff looked out. I want to go upstairs and give the office a clean first so you'll kind of see a speed clean of that um, and then I'll put up the prints and once it's all complete I'll make sure that everything's all dressed and where it should be and then we'll do a little tour of it because that's what you've been waiting for and I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it's done. I'm so excited to see the prints up. That huge one looks massive. It's going to take up so much of the wall space which is ideal. It's exactly what I was looking for. and I'm going on to my laptop to check the layout of the prints that I got because I use one of the templates on the Desenio website. So I'm going on to double check it and cross reference it before I start putting them on the wall. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's so cool and so easy to use. Desenio's website here, if you go to the inspiration tab and then hit create your gallery wall, you can go in there and then select a background. So you can just start here I'm just going to go for one that's maybe a bit plainer, so we'll go for the first one. And then we hit next step. And then you can choose how many prints you want and what kind of assorted range you would like. So for mine, I decided to go for this layout here, which was a huge big one in the middle, two smaller 30 by 40 ones, and then a 21 by 30 here. So I'm going to take this, keep it on screen, and then put mine up on the wall behind me. Hi guys, so I had to completely abandon this task yesterday because poor Charlie wasn't feeling well. And of course he just wanted his mum. So I am on it today. All my prints are ready to go. The room has been cleared. And I've also got the hanging strips ready to go. The ones that I tend to use for making these gallery walls. So I'm just going to show you them just now. Of course you could always just use a string and a picture hanging hook to do this. But just to make sure that they're on the wall the exact way that I want them to, I just stick them using little sticky pads. These ones are the command strips and they're quite expensive really. A pack like this is £9, so I mean, they're not like the cheapest thing, but they definitely do the job. And I find hanging my decennial gallery walls with these is really, really good. So what I'm going to do is actually use these, but instead of using one full strip, I'm going to take the strips and cut them long ways. And this means I can actually put them round the frame a bit more evenly rather than just putting a huge big strip at one side. And you will also notice that the backs of these frames are thinner than the thickness of the strip. So that is the other reason why I tend to do this. So I cannot wait to get these hung up. I'm very excited. So it means you don't need to get lots and lots of tools, especially if you're not DIY savvy like me, then um, these are actually really easy to do. So let's get started. So since this is going to be the wall that I'm putting this on, I've just laid out my pictures on the floor just to see what they're going to look like when I eventually pop them up. So this is the layout I've gone for. I've got the huge print in the middle. I've then got two of the 30 by 40 prints and then the smaller one over here. And then at this side, I have a larger print. So I just cannot wait to see all these colors together. I think they work so well. Now that my first print is up, 
I am going to use something that I want to have as a spacer in between each picture just to make sure I've got the exact same space between them all it just makes it look a bit more uniform so I'm going to use this perfume bottle here to make sure that that is the gap I have between each picture frame so I'm going to take that to the edge of this picture and then also that will make sure that the rest of them then keep in line because the bottle is even and um, so if I make sure that that is literally the exact same width apart from the picture frame then there will be no need for me to then further use a spirit level I can get by but I don't even know how to feel about it completed gallery wall I am so delighted with how it's turned out this print in the middle here is kind of what's doing it for me the most because it's tying together all of the other colours that are in the room so it really does feel like all of it's tying together well because of the prints so it's lovely it's added a nice bit of personality with all of the feminine touches with the flowers and then like the little feather and stuff I think it just looks great and these frames are amazing, they're actually quite lightweight as well which is good for hanging on the wall of course so yeah that didn't take me long at all and do you know what else I love? The fact that this reflects in that mirror over there, it looks really good. So now that the prints are all up on the wall what I'm going to do is show you a tour of the room. I'm very excited for this because I haven't shown much of it online and it has changed massively since we've moved in. So now that the pictures are up, it's definitely given the room a personality. So let me just walk you through from the beginning and show you everything that's changed and where it's all from. So this is what the overview of the room looks like when you walk in. It's a nice spacious bedroom that I am using as an office space, filming room, getting ready area, you name it, it's happening in this room. Anything related to doing YouTube or outfit posts or getting ready, I have been doing in this room, including editing at this desk. I'm just going to pop this down just now so you can see everything on the desk. But of course, this is the biggest change in the room probably. So I really wanted to have a desk, but I could never really find anything that suited. Um, so what Fraser suggested was actually getting these built-in wardrobes and then creating a desk using a piece of worktop. So that is exactly what we've done. These wardrobes here are from b and um, I'm not sure on exactly the colour that we went for but I'm pretty sure it was grey, um, but it is actually a warmer sort of like dark brown colour. And then on here we have changed the accent handles to gold, which are again just from B&Q. These were not expensive, but I love how changing like doorknobs can make such a massive difference to a room. So I've got them there. And here is my desk area. You can see that I've opted for a marble effect. This was not expensive whatsoever, but we do have quite a lot left, which is good. So if there's anything else that we want to make a desk from or a topper or something for outside in the garden, then we can definitely reuse this. So it's a really good tip if you're wanting to make a desk area to actually just make an overall like wardrobe hanging space. In here we actually have jackets hanging and our suitcases for going on holiday, which is such a really good storage. And then above here you'll see we have overarching a unit, which has two cupboard spaces as well. So in the middle here I've got a couple of ornaments that I didn't really have a home for, but I think the colours tie in really well. And I always joke and say that I would love my 100,000 YouTube plaque in there. Not that I think I would ever get it, but... You can dream, a girl can dream. It would sit in there perfectly. Um, and then over here, I've also got another wardrobe space, which I've got things like kind of accountancy things and just general sort of filing. I've also got some handbags, some shoes, etc. in there, but it's a bit of a mess. So I'm not going to show you what that looks like. Down here, I've got two little storage boxes that I actually keep everyday things in it, like hair tools or the hair dryer. Also, my everyday makeup are in those boxes. So things that I need to get access to get ready quickly to film will be in those boxes. They're from Matalan and I think they were about £10, they weren't expensive so I've obviously got the grey and the pink and then here I have my chair which is from Furniture123 I really wanted an upholstered chair, something that had a button back and then stud detailing so this was absolutely perfect and it's not too big either and then on my desk I've got lots of little accessories as you can see um, most of them being gold, I wanted to do loads of gold accents in here 
um, just because I think it's really different and it's very on trend at the moment. So let me start over here. This area here, I've got this little dish. I love a display dish. This is from Matland. I've got a candle here which is from b and I've also got my Jo Malone Martin Tonka perfume, which I wear every single day. I absolutely love this perfume. So it's nice to have it on display and tie in all the dark colours. And this artificial succulent is from b and And then in the back hiding here, I've got another couple of little essentials, like my hand cream from Lush. And then under here, the colour that doesn't go <laughs> is my Carmex lip balm. But I find these things are essential for filming because sometimes I get dry hands if I'm typing and then sometimes I get dry lips if I am filming. And behind it is another thing that's my pride and joy and this is my ostrich feather lamp. Now this is from Lipsy at NYX and how cool are these legs? <laughs> I just think this is so different. I really wanted something quite quirky in here because it is my room um, and it's just for filming. I thought this can be a bit more fun um, and I just love it. It's so good. I love these big feathers and the way that they kind of like hang out the way if that makes sense. But yeah, it's also got a clear wire for turning it on and off but yeah it looks really effective when it's on and gives off a lovely light in here this little cup here is just my water cup that i keep up here and it's got an a on it for ash and fraser got me it for christmas and then talking about initials i've got my a which you might remember from the last house i had this on my old desk but this is also from nyx um, and i'm pretty sure they actually still stock these so if you're looking for your initial then you can find them now this little item here was a bit of a bargain find. This was only a pound. It was from Poundland. And I just put all my pens in there. I try not to keep too many out because it's a bit cluttery. But I've got pens that match in perfectly with like my diaries. There are all the colours that I have in here. Like marble, pink and gold shades. This pen here is also from Poundland. It's got a little pineapple on it. And then my flamingo one, again, is also from Poundland. So a lot of little Poundland bargains in there. This little succulent pot, again, is artificial. But I just think a little bit of plant and greenery just makes the room a bit more vibrant. So this is a terracotta pot which has been painted with some ceramic white paint and then it's on a stand. And again, it's just the black, the white, the pink and also kind of like the green coming in just matches everything in the room together. Another item I have on my desk here is my diary, my paperweight which is a present back from Lanzarote from my mum and dad. Um, I've got my diary here which was from Poundland. Um, again tying in all of my colours that I wanted in this room and then here I've got my big journal that keeps all of my important information and like scheduling for filming and ideas. This was actually from Primark, I got it ages ago, I think it was about £8 but it's such a lovely material that it's finished in rather than being like a paperback so I love that, keep that all together with my paperweight on top of it. <laughs> and then stating obvious here I have got my Macbook Air, which sits here pride of place I do want to upgrade this year to a full Mac with the big unit and everything because this has done me well so far but I reckon it is time to move on and get a full Mac now that I have the space for it so on this little corner I thought this would be the perfect place to hang up my clock this was from Home Bargains and again it was another bargain itself it was not expensive but it's tying in my gold colours with the marble again I do think I've got a lot of marble going on but it's not overkill it just kind of matches in perfectly and um, because the rest of the room is pretty plain then the thing that I am asked most often about just now is this <laughs> my mirrored wall now we got these mirrored wall tiles from myfurniture.com and um, we just put them on ourselves we got mirror adhesive like basically like sticky labels not dissimilar to the ones that I've just used to hang up the pictures um, and you just stick them on the wall so we had no cutting involved we just had to stick them on um, and slide them behind the unit and it looks so effective I absolutely love this feature and um, it just makes the room feel really big and spacious and a bit more opulent and this whole area here is just fantastic I love it I spend a lot of time here um, and I'm really pleased with how that all looks together. I've also got the matching ceiling light to match my desk lamp. I just thought this would tie it all in very nicely. At first I did think it might be overkill, but now I'm so happy that I did it. Um, and this was only £40. It's also an easy hanging pendant, and that was also from Lipsy at NYX. I should also say as well, the carpets that we have in here are just the same as the ones that are downstairs, and it's in the shade Ivory. It's just a really nice neutral carpet and as you can see makes the best hoover lines. Here I've got a lovely picture of my nana and granda. It's just so nice to have them in this room so I like having that here. Then here I've got this wire picture hanger. 
Now, I haven't got any pictures on it just now because I've not got any printed. So good at taking pictures, so rubbish at printing them. <laughs> but I'm going to get the little pictures of the kids and stuff and hang it on using these little pegs here that you can use to clip them on. Um, and I got this from Primark Home actually. It was really cheap. I think it was about £8. Um, and I just think that looks fantastic sitting there. And again, tying in the gold and the white um, and having some pictures on there will just make this room feel nice and personalised. And then I've got a blind up here that is the same material as Ella's curtains in her bedroom. It's this lovely heather, I think it's called heather wick from Remnant Kings. It's a Roman blind so it looks lovely. I like the way that it gathers. I did want to get curtains in this room but I feel like because the room is not big enough it might have just kind of taken over or limited me to have other things in the room. So I'm glad that I went for the Roman blind instead. It looks really good and it's also on a nice silver chain. And then hello! I'm in the big mirror. This is the mirror where I take all of my outfit selfies and I get loads of questions asking where it's from. So this is from William Wood Mirrors and I actually got it in sale. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be £180 or £190, maybe closer to £200, but I got it on sale for £173. They had money off it so I decided just to bite the bullet and get it. This is in fact called the Ella Mirror. So if anyone wants to know, then it's easy to remember because obviously that's my daughter's name. So it's the Ella Mirror and yeah, I absolutely love it. It's huge. I've got the biggest size. There's two different sizes you can get. Mine is the bigger one. I think it's the um, 200 centimetre height one. Um, but you can also get a 180. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I've got it in the finish of champagne. So it's kind of in between a silver and a gold, which is nice because I have got a mix of metals in this room anyway. And then, of course, as you've just seen, tying it all together, I've got my gallery wall now. So, of course, all of these pictures are from the Senio. I've got discount code for you guys to use. But again, please make sure that you use it within the allocated time to avoid disappointment. You've got two days to use it. Um, yeah, and I just love the Senio. As you know, I've used them for years. And this has really brought a whole new lease of life to this area of the room. Before it felt really unfinished, but now coming into it, I've got that kind of butterflies feeling when you've got something new in the room. Does anyone else get that? I've got some flowers going on. There's also a kind of marbly effect. This looks like the inside of a precious stone, which I'm just obsessed with. Um, and then I've also got a sort of like cloudy vibe going on and then I've got a nice feather. I just think feathers are so important in life. They just make me think of anyone who have lost. So I like to have something like that in the room just to kind of, I don't know, give a little bit of significance to it, doesn't it? So that's also in a gold finish. And then I've got some more little flowers. So yeah, I think that looks fantastic. Do you know what I love as well? The flowers are really tying in nicely with their neat finish on this mirror. So yeah, really happy with how that looks. So delighted that it's all coming together. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing me get the office space all together, get it cleaned and get it decorated. And also a massive thanks to the Senio for partnering with me on this video too. If you enjoyed this, then please make sure you give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.